I'm Tyler with Brookens Angling, and today I'm throwing drop shots rigged with leeches for walleye. Today I am staying away from the weeds and targeting baits and walleye. This keeps me away from the panfish, which helps me hold on to my leeches a little longer, plus the average size of the fish are typically a lot bigger. You can see my bait dropping in on them right now. To identify these deep spring and summer walleye, I'm looking for fish that don't move around much. Bass don't stay in one spot when they're away from structure. Carp will spook when you get close to them and will also swim fast. Suckers are usually in tight schools that hold a lot of fish and are usually right on the bottom. When I have the walleye's attention with the leech, I will let my bait pendulum to the bottom. This is what a fleeing leech would naturally do, which helps trigger the bite. It also keeps the attention of the walleye away from the boat, preventing you from spooking the fish. Number two. be more interested in my sinker right now than my bait. I'm using a 12 pound braid mainline attached to about 8 foot of 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. The thin diameter of the braid helps make a long cast. The no stretch helps detect bites and get more hookups. The floral leader is nearly invisible underwater and is abrasion resistant. Both braid and floral sink which helps get your bait to moving fish faster. The rod I am using is a 7 foot medium light. I prefer a long rod for this technique. It picks up more line and hook sets. I can make long casts without whipping my leech. And I can also hold my bait in place just by holding my rod up high for suspended fish. Really pretty dark fish. Perfect. I'm using a barbless owner light wire hook. The only reason for barbless is I am not keeping any fish. The weight I am using is one quarter ounce. I use the lightest weight I can get away with for a more natural presentation. Plus it keeps your bait in front of finicky fish longer.
Here's a school of about five walleye. Whenever I have a school of fish, I try and cast short of them. This way I can draw one or two fish out rather than spooking the whole school. Under the boat. I lost track of my bait there and I pretended that the fish was behind it. Followed it all the way back to the boat for about 50 feet before he finally ate. 